Hi and welcome to this video. In this video I will demonstrate the new version of Advanced Elements 1.12 beta and we will compare the old version with the new version. On the left we have the old version and on the right we have the new version. To enable the new features you need to go to the Advanced Elements settings page and there you need to enable dynamic tags and widgets. Now let's go into the Elementor editor. Let's add a simple text widget in both, both editors. Now let's try a text widget with the old system. As you can see there nothing happens because there are not any saved values. If we go into our new version and add a AE2 tag You can see we now have a placeholder value. We can also add text editor. Go into our dynamic tags again. And then we can select another field. Here we have plain text. Let's try a WYSIWYG field. Now we have a WYSIWYG text. This also works for images. So let's add a image field. Here we have our image. And it also works for galleries. So we select our gallery field. And you can see we have placeholder images also for galleries. All this can be replaced on the settings page if you feel the need to. On the old version there is no support for any placeholder images or text or anything like that. So in order to design things you need to already add values in all your ACF fields. Now let's go back to our Elementor editor. rather admin dashboard and let's go to our templates. Now let's add a new template. New section template. Let's call it demo template. So here we have the old again and the new. Now if we add a some containers. Let's add a heading. Also for um, 
demonstration purposes, let's go to our demo page backend, so you can see how it looks. Here we still do not have any saved values for repeater or anything else. The same is the case on our new site on the right. Now let's go to settings. Here we need to select our demo page. Apply and preview. Now let's go to our tags and add a ACF repeater text and see what happens. As you can see, no fields were found. That is because you need to save a draft, and then you need to refresh. Then you can uh, select a tag. But uh, since there are no values found, it will say no repeater value found. Now let's take a look on the new way of doing things using the experimental settings. Go to settings, select our demo page, apply and preview. Here and add a tag. Here we will use the new AE2 tags, select the text, and here you can see directly what is available to be selected. Both the standard tags, but also the repeater subfield tags. So let's select our repeater subfield. As you can see, it fills with a placeholder value. So let's go and publish these. Add some repeater text. To our editor. Now let's add our repeater with template widget. Select our repeater field and our template. As you can see, it is working as expected. Here yeah, we have our new way of doing things and our old way of doing things. And I think the new way is much easier to do than the old way. No need to refresh or save the values and so forth. In upcoming versions, there will be placeholder support also for repeater fields and other scenarios. So you don't have to save values at all and you can try things out more easily. That was all for this video and uh, have a nice day.